What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today we're going to go ahead and show you yet another gold farm video. And um, before I go ahead and show you the farm, I just ask you if at the end of the video uh, you'd l care to like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. And also check out the links in the description below because we have some pretty cool stuff down there that uh, I, I think you guys like. So, I'm just going to go ahead and explain the basis of what we're going to be farming today. We're going to be farming a mat that always sells, and honestly, I kind of didn't want to show you guys this farm uh, in the first place, because this had been my farm that I used to make, you know, a ton of gold back in the day, and not, I don't want to say it was not popular, but it wasn't over farmed yet, and I feel like when I post this video, it's going to be over farmed, so if you're watching this now, uh, just know that you should probably go farm it uh, quite quickly after you see this video. So, today we're going to be farming actually some Cataclysm mats, um, known as Volatile Fire and Volatile Air. I will show you what they look like on the auction house real quick. Alright, so Volatile Air, Air right here is going for 29 gold a piece on my server right now. Uh, your server might be a little bit more or a little bit less, obviously, because it's dependent on server. But as you can see, if we look at the region average daily sold, there's uh, quite a bit sold daily. So, we're going to go to Volatile Water next. And here's Volatile Water, uh, about 10 gold more, and uh, much more of it sold uh, during one day than Volatile Air. But this farm is going to get us both, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need for it. So, if you want to go ahead and squeeze an extra couple thousand gold out of this farm at the end of the day, you can buy a potion of treasure finding, and uh, you will bump up your gold quite a bit. Uh, it is quite expensive, but it is worth it. Uh, you do 100% make your money back. Also, Bear Tartar is going to be useful because we're going to be running in and out of an instance, and we're going to have to constantly run in and out and reset it. Um, there are two mobs that you're able to kill if you like and also there's a skidding farm within this instance as well The potion of treasure finding just helps you pull out that extra volatile air and water and uh, you will actually get some volatile life I just didn't show you guys that because volatile life doesn't really sell uh, super high on my server yours It might it might be worth it um, I'm obviously gonna sell it anyways, but that's that's just me so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video and uh, next time you'll see us we'll be at the farming location and we're going to explain everything you need to do, how you need to do it, and all that good stuff. So I'm cutting the video and I'll see you then. Alright everybody, we're back after that cut and uh, I might be at a place that looks quite familiar to you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where that is. If you look, we're at the entrance to Zalgarub in Northern Stragglethorn, which is in the Eastern Kingdoms. Uh, this is probably a little bit more difficult for Horde to get to, but they can get there. And yeah, I don't know why I clicked on Kalimdor. Probably just so you can make fun of me. But if we look right here, we're going right there just so you have no issues finding it. So we're at the entrance to a dungeon, if you look at that. So first things first, with the potion of treasure finding that we bought off the auction house and the bear tartar, we're going to pop those now. So we're going to take the potion of treasure finding and I'm going to take the bear tartar. Now, one thing you do need to know for this dungeon, it's going to be quite quick. Um, in fact, that like it'll be very quick. Um, you won't, you know, like you'll be able to run in, kill, run out, run in, kill, run out, and you actually are going to hit instant lock uh, most likely. So the only way to actually like be able to farm the mob that drops all this stuff in here is to have your dungeon difficulty set on heroic. So make sure you have it set on heroic. If it's anything else, the mob will not spawn as it is like an extra boss and it's not one of the ones that's directly related to the dungeon. So we're going to go ahead and head in now and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to have to do. Um, and it's quite simple, to be honest. You basically run in, run to the left, kill the mob, nuke it, and then run out, reset the instance. Um, I've been doing this farm for actually, I want to say about a year now. Uh, it's been quite a bit. So, I'm going to run in, run past all these things, and you see this big mob up here? We're going to, yep, the Hive Queen. We're just going to nuke it real quick, kill whatever other mobs are around that want to hurt you. And the Hive queen, Queen's Honeycomb is what we wanted. Uh, now, with the Potion of Treasure Finding, you do actually have chances to loot chests off of her, which makes everything quite easier. 
And uh, if you're a druid, this farm, druid, whatever, this farm will go much quicker, uh, as you only have to do that. Now, <clears throat> before I run out and um, reset the instance again, I'm going to show you something real quick. In these pools, there are tons of mobs that drop scales for skinning, and uh, it's not uncommon for people to go through the entire dungeon, pull all those mobs, and skin them. So, what, <clears throat> what they'll do is they'll run around the bottom part in droid form, aggro everything they can, and then skin them all at the end, because they do drop some savage leather, and if that sells well in your server, <clears throat> then it probably makes sense for you to farm that. If not... Uh, I would just get your runs in as quick as possible uh, on this farm because it'll make everything quite fast. So after we exit the dungeon <clears throat> right now, I'm going to show you what you have to do. You have to right click, reset all instances, yes. Go back into flight form or whatever your form is, run back in, and you're just going to keep doing this process until you hit instance lock. So you're going to be able to do it 10 times uh, before you hit lock. I have hit instance lock on this time, and after I've killed the mob uh, um, and got to instance lock, I normally have to wait about 15 minutes. Um, it's quite a bit of time, so you are, you know, expect to be waiting a little bit. Um, if you're droid, this farm goes super fast, obviously. You have any speed enhancements. That's uh, why I pick Bear Tartar to be active, because after you kill him, you can loot and then leave. So I'm going to open one of these after we get outside the dungeon real quick just to show you all what is inside of them. So we're going to go ahead and exit the dungeon now. Uh, we'll reset it again. Make sure you don't run in without resetting it or else you'll waste your time. Uh, it'll take some of the gold per hour off of it, obviously. So we're going to reset all instances. And I'm just going to open one of these to show you. As you can see, we got four volatile life, five volatile air. And uh, also some Twilight Jasmine. Uh, that will drop in this. It's quite common. And as you see, after just a few runs, you know, there's 268 gold worth of Volatile Air and then 200 worth of Volatile Life. So this farm is still probably one of the most profitable, far profitable farms that I have ever done in World of Warcraft. Um, this and the Loaded Gnomish Dice farm have made me the most gold throughout my experience. Um, also some of the transmog farms have actually made me uh, quite a bit of gold. So we're gonna run up here, nuke, easy, loot, travel farm, back out. And that is really all you ever have to do in this farm. I've been doing this farm since, um, you know, right after Cata, and it, everything I've ever gotten from this farm has always sold off just stupid quick. If you can just sit here for hours and get, you know, a hundred of those, open them all up, you're going to be sitting pretty good on your auction house. Which is what a lot of people, at least the people that know about this farm, do. Some people will screw it up and they'll put it on normal and they just won't get any of the items, so that, yeah. Uh, not, it's different. This is one of those farms that you won't see a ton of people farming, but it is extremely profitable, I think, just because not everybody in the player base knows about it yet. And... That's honestly all I have to say for this farm. Other than the fact that there are a couple other uh, rare mobs that aren't related to the instance uh, that do spawn throughout it that you can farm as well. Um, I don't because they are literally all the way over here and it, it would take so much time to run all the way over there and reset it again where I could just keep doing this over and over. It's up to you. You will get some more volatile life and air and water and stuff like that um it i don't know it's up to you i don't do it because it takes too long personally and i don't find it's really worth it but you can do it if you'd like to and uh that's about all i have for you guys on this farm um if you like the video you can like comment subscribe down below also check out the links in the description i have all my recording gear all that setup everything even the mic i record on uh i have on there so if you guys you know ever want to find out any of that stuff it's up there for you and uh yeah that's all i have for you guys um now if you are staying tuned um i'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the schedule for the next little bit and uh we'll just you know explain exactly what i'm gonna be doing uh throughout that stuff so i've been trying to do daily uploads for a while i know i haven't been able to obviously because memorial day hit and i had uh, i had to go do some stuff with family and uh, that was my only option. So I tried recording videos before, but the audio got all messed up, so I wasn't able to post them. 
Um, I'm trying to keep daily videos coming out for you guys before Battle for Azeroth drops, and then as soon as Battle for Azeroth drops, I'm going to go ahead and do daily videos from there on is my plan because I know there's going to be a lot of gold farms and farming potential with that new expansion that comes out and I know I'm going to have to be on top of it for you guys so um, if you guys could just show a little support or thanks for doing this it does take a lot of time out of my day to do this and uh, I always try to find time to do it and I, I, I don't know it's, it's kind of difficult but I do it for you guys and I hope you enjoy it and uh, that's it if you like this uh, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.